WaveLab has been the number one mastering platform since the middle of the 90s, with hundreds of thousands of users based all around the world. To celebrate the 25th anniversary of the creation of WaveLab, let's look at 25 interesting things you need to know about WaveLab. Number one, WaveLab version 1.0 from 1995 can still be installed and operated under Windows 10, even right now in the middle of 2020. WaveLab was originally invented and is still co-developed by French bass programmer Philippe Gautier. The first version of WaveLab was created way back in 1995. There was a middle version of WaveLab until 2010, which was called WaveLab Studio. It wasn't particularly popular because most people decided to go for the pro version, and that's why it was discontinued. WaveLab 1 to 6 were only available on the PC. Only since version 7 has WaveLab been able to be used on a Mac. WaveLab is not only used in music and mastering studios, but also by many universities and educational institutions. It has its own education price structure. WaveLab can be connected to external editors such as spectral layers. Audio material that's edited in spectral layers can be simply updated inside WaveLab and also Cubase. WaveLab is Steinberg's most diverse product and it's been used across a number of different industries. Besides the audio industry, WaveLab is used by governments, by the BBC archives, NASA, petroleum corporations, and in forensic labs for detective work and experimentally in medicine technology. Experimentally, WaveLab's analysis tools have been used to analyze bone noises captured by special microphones in order to learn more about the sound of the human body. Due to its massive support of metadata standards, in combination with its batch processing capabilities and refinement tools, WaveLab is a leading solution also for audio archiving. WaveLab was used to digitalize the most important and unique analog recordings of Americans' history in the framework of the Save America's Treasures initiative. WaveLab was among the very first audio applications to integrate CD burning capabilities. Number 12. In contrast to many other audio products, WaveLab has seen two major user interface updates in less than seven years. The first in 2010 and the most recent in 2016. The 3D spectral analysis found in WaveLab 10 was already present in WaveLab 1. WaveLab 1.0 was the first Steinberg 32-bit application and the first one distributed on a CD rather than on a floppy disk. When searching for a name for the application, Philippe was exchanging his impressions with a pal or a friend in the US through a fax machine because nobody used emails back in the day. When WaveLab started to be developed, the speed of computers was really slow in comparison to modern day computers and there wasn't as much memory. So from the start, WaveLab has been built with a culture of optimizing CPU and memory resources. There are massive radio stations all over the world using WaveLab 24-7 to batch process all of its programs to produce properly calibrated podcasts. Back in the day, WaveLab was used to record the sessions of the European Parliament. Though being started some 25 years ago, the internal architecture of WaveLab is constantly rejuvenated and modernized to be able to last in time. CD burning demand was so strong in the late 90s that a specialized WaveLab version was released with CD success in 1999 under the name Get It On CD. Due to the development efforts for WaveLab 7, the life cycle of WaveLab 6 was the longest in WaveLab's history and it took some 57 months. WaveLab Elements, the entry-level version of the WaveLab product range, was called WaveLab Essential in former times. With version 7, it changed to Elements, so it could be in line with other Steinberg products. WaveLab has been shipped to approximately half a million users since its launch. WaveLab is the Steinberg brand's oldest brand still being sold today, second only to Cubase. Finally, did you know that WaveLab 1 was released on a mini CD? There's 25 amazing things you probably didn't know about WaveLab. If you subscribe to the WaveLab YouTube channel, you'll find plenty more videos offering all kinds of information on how you can use WaveLab.